<clears throat> okay, so I just hit start streaming. So, oh yeah, live with Douglas. Let me close that. Yay! <laughs> Hi everyone. Your intro. <laughs> oh, welcome back to another Face Mask Friday, and this time it's live. Ooh, Don't know if you guys time. actually are seeing this, but yeah. <laughs> Is it our, only our first time doing a live Face Mask Friday? Wow. Yeah. I guess so, yeah. Cool. <laughs> what else are we doing? We also, because it's so trendy, we have some food. We're going to do like a little mukbang while the mask is on. While it's on, not before. Yeah. Not before. I'm mm, kind of hungry. And we also have some bubble tea. Mm. And we plan bubble to be tea. streaming for like an hour. So the mask takes, I think, about 20 minutes. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But what mask are we doing today, Corey? So I have bubble tea, and I thought I had bubble tea masks, but they're actually just fruity masks. These ones. <laughs> um, kiwi apple aid and pomegranate aid. Yeah. So. Yeah. And of course, we want to know. Nice. If you will be masking mm. with us tonight, and if so, what mask are you going to be using? And because we're going to be here for an hour, you could like run and grab a mask now, and yeah. then come back Enjoy and, uh, yeah. Give us results. And mom, if you're watching, you could run and grab that neck mask that you've been holding on to forever. There's like no occasion that you're going to use it, so just do it now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, tell us about these masks. Well, they are the Pomegranate Aid and Kiwi Apple Aid face masks by Mediheal. Um, same people who did the soda bubble mask yeah. that we kind of love, so yeah. yeah. Um, apparently the natural cellulose ten tensile sheets are high dermatolo <laughs> highly dermato That's dermotropical? Dermatologically? Dermotropical. Oh, dermotropic. Dermotropic, yeah. And fixed easily to your face on skin. <laughs> um, they are helpful for intense skincare and deliver the effects of enriched essence softly. Oh, essence! Yeah, so that'll be fun. <laughs> um, do you want to read yours? I'll read mine. Sure. Do you want to start? <sighs> sure. So the fresh. Punica Grantum. <laughs> you picked it. Fruit Did extract. Did I mean pomegranate? Is that a different word for pomegranate? I don't know. <laughs> the fresh Punica, Punica Grantum fruit extract, water, and nutri nutrition of hydrolyzed collagen delivered to your skin. The mask allows pores to fully absorb essence, or sorry, to fully absorb essential nutrients and moisturizing ingredients for an hydration <laughs> care. Yeah, and mine says fresh apples cleanness, 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 and kiwi extract sedatives, <laughs> sedatives. are delivered um, to your skin purely. This is a soothing mask, which makes your skin comfortable and clean with no trouble. And as you guys can see, I've got some trouble. Aww. Aww. And there are like a little... I don't. My skin's flawless. <laughs> Thank you, everyone at home. <laughs> there is like a little guide of all the things that the mask could do. Yeah, So it's mine interesting. says pore care and clearing. I'm going to do like a quick zoom as to what we're mm. talking about. So like here, it gives a list of yeah, all possible things yeah. and just what's like checked off. So for yeah. me, I have hydration and skin firming. Yeah, so, I really like that. I think that gives it an extra idea. point. Because if you were and like buying it, you'd be like, just in, tell me what it does. If you were looking for different ones, like you want to look for skin line and pore care, then this one's not good, <laughs> but they offer something similar or possibly. So yeah. Yeah. It's interesting to mm. think. And yeah, of course, if you're masking at home, let us know what you will be masking with. Yeah. Yeah, um, two people are watching. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, um, are there instructions? Or there's only instructions in Korean? 
Okay. Oh, there is an image. So first, water face, then put mask on, then 15 to 20 minutes, and then pad essence into skin. That's what I'm getting from these pictures. Mm, yeah. Once again, big zoom. Boom. <laughs> So, I did find the instructions, and you're totally right. Oh, After awesome. cleansing, even out skin, using a toner, and apply the sheet mask on your face. Relax for 15 to 20 minutes. Take off sheet mask, and then let skin absorb <laughs> the remaining essence by gently patting the skin. I love that I got the like pet essence in. <laughs> because course. that's just... Uh... Apparently in this line, there's also a couple of different flavors. There's um, cocoa, cacao <laughs> for Portlandia watchers. Lemon, lime, <laughs> pomegranate for... Belinda Blinked Watchers, Kiwi Apple, and Akai, or Acai Bay. Cool. So yeah, should we open these up and Let's see what they're like? right now? Like? Sure. Um, should we use a toner or anything? Did Just... you want to toner them? I have What's... a gentle toner, or, no, this is the harsh toner, this is the gentle toner. Let's go gentle. There you go. Thank you. And what was the, the thing that's like, you like, spritz your face, because that's always fun. Um, oh, you want the, like, the pre-mask? Oh, is that what it is? No, um, doesn't you matter. You totally use it. Do you guys remember this? We did a whole video on it. Yeah, the Origins Max Mask Imizer Skin Optimizing Mask Primer. Ding. <laughs> um, yeah. But I don't know, I guess I... Banana. 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 Let's tone up. Sure. Sorry, were you saying something? <laughs> I haven't washed my face in like a couple of hours. I mean, so yeah. yeah, I need something to do beforehand. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say lie. days. <laughs> no, a couple hours. I think I may have. I have shaved recently, so you may have shaved. I may have, and then I can just like <laughs> clot it off. Wee! How's your night been, Cora? My night's been good, thank you. Good. What about you? Oh, it's been pretty good. I had a... Well, I have a lot of um, <laughs> stuff on my face. <laughs> oh, man problems. Uh, um, I had a pretty crappy week. Yeah. It was so busy Stressful. at work. Oh, my yeah. God. Okay. Everything that could have happened that could go wrong just did Aww. all at once. So, yeah, it was good times. We well, made it through. Yeah, we made it through. It sounds like everything's cleared up now, so nice. that's good. But, yeah, yeah, so I need to just sit and relax and do a face mask. Yeah, that's what face masking is all about. Yeah. Relaxing after your tough week, See which is why we do it on Friday. Yeah, yeah. good, good plugs. <laughs> wow. Ah, I just got um, squirted. Sorry if there's bees mask on the food. No! Mine smells soapy. I thought maybe it would be green or something, but it looks just clear. I got squirted on too. <laughs> I don't know. The last couple masks we've done are really juicy. Just gonna pull back my luscious locks. So will I. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. It feels like forever since we've done a face mask. I don't know why. It does. Because, yeah, we didn't have to do them this week because we just saved it for tonight. Yeah. And usually, to break the, I don't know, experience there once again, <laughs> as I always do, fourth wall. Fourth wall. Uh, <laughs> How many walls are there? Well, like one, two, three, and the fourth wall. So, boom. To break the fourth wall, we usually record like kind of early in the week. So, it's been about two weeks almost since mm -hmm. we recorded the last one. So yeah. So I feel Thank like the guys. fabric on this mask is like extra thick. It is. It's actually a nice little fabric. Um, it's like textured as well. So yeah, it's not, it is like, textured. <clears throat> um, it's supposed to adhere well, which is good if we're munching on snacks. Yeah. So does anyone at home watch mukbangs? I don't. And that's like <laughs> the one weird thing I don't watch. I do, but yeah. not. I don't seek them out. It's just some of the people that I watch also incidentally do them. Mm. What do you guys think? Some people think they're really disgusting and like would never do them. But like it's Friday night, it's kind of like hashtag girls night, we're hungry, like <laughs> plus any of you eat greasy food, maybe the fat, the face mask is like 
Like, if you were eating pizza and you had a face mask on, maybe you wouldn't get that, like, grease ball feeling. I mean, you'd have to be wearing, like, a cleansing mask or, like, one that, like, a clay mask to absorb it. Yeah, but then they couldn't, like, stay on as long as, like, a sheet mask. A clay mask can't stay on as long as a sheet mask? I think they can stay on. Well, just because it's so drying. Oh, I guess. I thought you were like... Uh-oh, Dizzy, I'll can't watch them. They're so gross. No! <laughs> Sorry, Dizzy. We're going to be eating a little bit tonight, so. Yeah, sorry. I don't know if you got here. You might want to tune out. <laughs> um, I personally don't watch them just because I, <laughs> no one I know does them. Like, I don't. <laughs> and I've never seeked them out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I just thought it would be really funny because I thought it was a bubble tea mask because I didn't really fully read it. Yes, that was the. And so I thought bubble tea and then we could eat some Japanese food. Yeah, we got bubble tea for this, but <laughs> then realized, oops. Yeah, and I actually bought these masks at Superstore, which is kind of odd. I just kind of found them in the, like, hair aisle. And I want to say they were pretty cheap. I want to say they were, like, about 3 or 4 maybe $5. But you can buy them online for, like, super, super cheap. Should I start the timer? Yeah. Okay. On my fancy dandy box of coriander. <laughs> um, 25 minutes? 20. So, cool. Yeah, and we actually spiked our bubble tea with some vodka. So You're that's not supposed not to tell them, man. Oh, secrets. God. And Mr. Secrets. <laughs> and then explain what we'll be indulging in tonight. <laughs> While your mouth's full. I don't remember. <laughs> um, <laughs> we you ordered it. With some tempura, some mm -hmm. gyoza, some spring rolls, and then these fancy dipping sauces. And then, because we bought a lot of food without even realizing <laughs> it. Um, a whole bunch of... There's like ribs, chicken ribs. karage, which I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Calamari and tempura crab sticks. Yeah, so I like seafood and Cora does not, so that'll be sticking over here with Yeah. Me. If you live in the Edmonton area, this is from Sumo Sumo. Yeah, we like Sumo Sumo. It's very good. Yeah, kind of expensive when you order a lot when you're hungry. Yeah, but... <laughs> when you're accidentally like, oh, this looks good and this too. Uh, so, but yeah, yep. it's solid. Yep. <laughs> So, yeah. Anyway, if you guys don't want us to eat too much, you have to chat with us. <laughs> yeah, make it so that we don't talk. We try not to talk with our mouths full, so that'll be the one thing that oh, like, mm. keeps us from doing it if you don't want us to. Hey, <laughs> Pink Dizzy Owl. <laughs> Yep. Um, yeah. Oh, and I also pulled out some like funny questions that we can ask each other because uh, of course we're did. pretty quiet people and we don't always like chat a lot. So this is just like <laughs> no, we never talk. This this is just for a show. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Doug's a bit of a chatterbox, I have to say. Um, some things before <laughs> we seriously get started here, even though the masking has begun. Yeah. Um, I just want to hit some milestones on my channel here. So we're at 800,000 views, which is amazing. Almost to 1 million. And 665 subs at the moment. Um, yeah. <laughs> of course, the countries that are most sub, or that watch my videos most are US, Canada, UK, India, and Hong Kong. And Hong Kong is interesting because um, my Clinique CC foundation video it kind of went viral in there for like a oh, day. Yeah, I so remember that. That was interesting. I was like, cool it's kind of an old product, so I'm not too sure why that was like being advertised, but maybe they're like resurging it. Mm. Um, and of course, the demographic, you're most likely female. You're most likely between 25 and 34. <laughs> 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 you're most likely watching on your phone. And if you have a phone, it's like, I thought for sure there'd be like more iOS than Androids, but it's actually like 50-50. Hmm. iOS is ahead by 1%, which is interesting because we're both Android, but yeah. yeah, do you fit that demographic? Let us know. <laughs> um, of course, make sure, and I'm sure you already have, Dizzy, but enter our 2,000 sub giveaway. Currently, there's only 46 people entered into it, so your chances are really not that bad for winning. Yeah. Yeah. So, do it now if you haven't already. <laughs> um, and that's all the notes I had for... Cool. This video, so now we can just kind of like freestyle it. So, Talking about the mask for a second, what do you think so far? It is for me, at least, adhering very well. It is adhering very well. It's a little like clicky around my upper lip. And you've been talking the most. I have been talking a lot. I think might be it, but yeah, yeah, but it's nice and damp, but not like dripping wet. No, except for when you initially open it and it sprays everywhere, but 
I thought it would be a little bit more smelly, but it's really not that no, scented. No, it's really not. Yeah, I don't know. It's like any. I kind of smelled the soapiness when yeah, I first opened it, initially, but. Yeah, initially, but. Yeah. So, a nice kind of, um, a fairly gentle it's mask yeah, so if you're far, yeah. sensitive, it's probably good. Yeah. Um, I also saw some other cool masks at Superstore. I don't know if you guys ever check Superstore for face masks and stuff, but I guess since they're, they own TNT, it does make sense that there'd be some, like, K-beauty there. Yeah, it makes sense. But they also had, like, an eye mask that is, like, heating, which I thought looked really cool, but I opted for the That sounds one. scary. I know it's a little bit <laughs> terrifying, but that just means we have to try it, right? We've tried bees and snails, so... I suppose, so. <laughs> We're pretty brave. I was thinking of putting, like... Icy hot or like bang it <laughs> Yeah, like icy so hot right on the eyes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dizzy Al. She's like, I don't understand how you don't have more subscribers, especially Aww. Face Mask Fridays. Aw, thank you so much. And actually, if you look at our stats for like the most viewed playlist, Face Mask Friday is definitely like the most viewed playlist That's by great. a long time. My show is great. <laughs> but my most watched videos are my hair videos. Which, from a long time ago, which I, I think is weird. I know. Weird. <laughs> the, the retouch up one yeah. has like, <laughs> it's still like thousands more than way, anything way else. It's, ahead, yeah. it's pretty, pretty it's random. Just like the most random stuff. Yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> um, but yeah. Cool. So while we're masking, should we refrain from eating a little bit and then just do some questions and then we can go crazy after? <laughs> can I have like one thing? All right, you can have Sorry, one thing. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Are you gonna like squirt the lemon all over? Probably not. What are you up to, Dizzy? Yeah. How's everyone's night going? Mm -hmm. I think I already asked that, didn't I? Why is no one responding? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, steal some tempura. You mean calamari? Because that is gross. Ooh. Some calamari. I really don't yeah. like seafood. I can't open my mouth. Uh. <laughs> That was really weird. <laughs> it's weird laughing with a mask on. Mm -hmm. Normally we would just like cut at this point and like go lay in bed. Maybe listen to a podcast. But Yeah, so this is us <laughs> having fun now. Um, and yeah, opening your mouth to eat calamari was <sighs> difficult. I, was like, I mean, the mask has pretty good movement. It does, but... Uh... <laughs> I don't think that's something they really worry about. Eating oh, you have food hill. all over your face. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so I have 25 questions from okay. RootReport.com. <laughs> from where? Root Report. Root Report. I know, that's so weird. Root and they're 25 get to know me take questions. Oh. So are you named after anyone? I don't think so. I don't uh, think so either. You could say my middle name, technically. After um, your dad? Yeah, technically. Or in a way, my dad's Antoine and Anthony, so they're kind of similar. <laughs> what face mask are you using, Dizzy? We want to know the deets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think I was named after anyone, but maybe I was named after Coronation Street. We'll have to confirm with my mother. Hmm. I'm sure she's watching, maybe. Probably not. Um, when was the last <laughs> time you cried? <laughs> um... <laughs> You don't like the honest truth? <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be honest. Well, too bad. <laughs> I was really stressed out yesterday, uh, so... Oh, you cried yesterday. Uh, oh, it, was, it was a tough day at work. <laughs> yeah. I pride myself on not crying and, like, being really stoic and strong, but I I teared up a little bit last weekend. I was just having, like, a really hormonal week, and I think I might be, like... I've been on birth control for about six months now, so maybe that, like, brings on the... Wall of emotions. I was just a wreck last week. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. And she hides it from me, like, so it's like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> um, do you have kids? No. Do you have kids? Yes, I do. I have my baby, Toby. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I guess I also have my baby, Guppy, and Mr. Snail. Oh, yeah. We have three kids. A cat, a snail, and a betta fish. Betta fish. Yeah. Betta fish. <laughs> So, yeah. Yeah. If you were another person, would you be a friend of yourself? Hell yeah, I would be. I'm amazing. <laughs> so. You're so humble. It's not even a question. <laughs> um, I think I'd be okay. I'd be like, why is she so quiet? Hmm. Do you scar sarcasm a lot? 
Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Boom. End of joke. <laughs> That's very straightforward. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I feel like when we tell jokes, no one gets them because, like, we're not very humorous people. Sometimes when I try to tell a joke, really? I ruin the punchline really badly. <laughs> <laughs> you always explain it after. I always do. That's yeah. half the punchline is. No. <laughs> the lameness of having it explained. Uh... So it looks like Dizzy Al is using the Queen Helene mud mask. Mud path mask, which sounds familiar, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to check that one out. Hmm. And apparently, <laughs> yeah, not a, not your first name, Corey. For I Street. wasn't named after Coronation Street, but yes, Janine after my father. Why, Mom? How does that make sense? I don't know, but yeah, middle names. That's. I feel like that's kind of common, like middle names being. Hmm. Because no one ever really knows your middle name, so I can see naming someone after someone hmm. using it there. Yeah, hmm. but we'll get more details in a That's sec. not always the case, obviously. Are my you uncle masking? and grandfather are named Harry, so. Harry, you're kind of Harry. I mean, yeah. So <laughs> I take after them in that sense. But... <laughs> All right. What is the first thing you notice about people? Um, I don't know. I'm gonna say like their style, the way oh. they hold themselves, oh, how wait. they like. So not their fashion. Some part of their fashion is kind of it. Um, so, like, really generic, general things like that. So I don't know his eyes or hair. I, I guess I know his hair a fair bit, and that might be one of the, like, features I see immediately. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, style. I think if it was me, i do it definitely for boys and girls, probably. Mm. Like, if it's a guy, I'm like, are you intimidating or not? <laughs> Because if they're intimidating, I'm more likely to be, like, quiet. Like, if they're tall and, like, really professional looking and, like, or just, like, really scary looking, I'm more likely to just, like, be really quiet and stuff. I mean, okay. But if they're approachable, I'm like, ah, oh, cool. I want to say that might be part of their style, personally. <laughs> style is a very, very broad term in my eyes, so. I think for ladies, what would I notice? I don't know. I guess, yeah, their overall demeanor. Exactly. Like, <laughs> first it's, like, just the, like, overall sense, and then you start to pick, like, individual aspects. And I think the first one for me is hair. <laughs> but I don't know why. It's just like, ooh, she has nice hair. Nice hair, bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what is the most interesting, interesting pet you've ever had? Because I know you've had more than just Mr. Guppy and Mr. Snail. Um, I don't know. I can talk about various pets that I've had. I've had pet newts, like little <laughs> salamanders. They're great. Um, they were fun to play with, but I was a terrible pet owner at the time. Where <laughs> like you'll get a eight o'clock. Um, eight o'clock. I was eight years old. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, uh, I've had like my family had an iguana at one point, but that oh. thing was kind of mean, and I was young, so I didn't really know how to like deal with it when it was aggressive. Um, my sister had a pet chameleon at one point. What's with all the reptiles? I don't know. We were Reptile. really lizardy family. But that guy, I think, was the coolest, actually, because he would always <laughs> just, like, hang out and, like, lay on top of me because Aww. I was warm. Um, like and I'd be, like, sleeping on the couch. Um, but yeah, Toby and Mr. Stan and Guppy <laughs> are pretty interesting so far. Cool. Um... So Toby might be my favorite just because he's the most, Aww. like, he has the most personality, I would say. Totally. Um, I would concur that Toby is definitely the best. Although I think Mr. Avoid... Snail is, like, an unexpected pet, and he is he's so, a very functional pet. Like, But I think he's most different. Most. Like, he's a, he's a snail, obviously. <laughs> but he is so fast, he eats so much, he's so active. And we only got him to clean the tank, yeah, which is, but... like, a really interesting, like, functional pet. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, my aunt had an iguana, which is really rant. She, my aunt's iguana was chained to like go in the shower. Were any of your reptile li litter chained? <laughs> no, um, it, they had. They just went whenever. <laughs> they had a big tank or like cage, and it would just go in that uh -huh. or was newspaper or whatever. But hmm. nice. So apparently, my middle yeah. name is from Jeb Janine Lebanon, which is where my grandpa was maybe from. Which is the hood, apparently. I'm sure my mom must have told me that before and I just forgot, but hmm. we'll have to Google map that later. Cool. 
Um, what is, what do you prefer, a scary movie or a happy ending? I mean, you can have a scary movie and a happy ending. Is a scary movie just a sad movie? Is it a tragedy? I don't know. I didn't read the question. <laughs> scary movie or happy endings? Well, <laughs> um, I don't know. What do you think? I'm I definitely think I not a scary movie person. I prefer, well, I like sad movies. So not necessarily a happy yeah, ending, exactly. but I don't want to be scared. I don't want any jump scares or any creepiness. I'm not a fan <laughs> of um, jump scares. Ah. Um, but it's my face <laughs> in the mess. Um, yeah, no, not a fan of like jump scares or anything, but I do appreciate like kind of like slow building, kind of creepy <laughs> tones of movies. So yeah, um, but happy happy movies totally cool too. A lot of good happy movies. Apparently, my mom was really scared of the iguana. <laughs> oh, I mean, yes, actually, iguanas kind of terrifying. Did, did either of you guys have, like, your iguana, like, whip you with its tail? <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm... No. Who is she I'm calling? I'm Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's true. I'm, but I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not a whip from a man. It's better if you just know up front that I'm not very brave. <laughs> I, I know. Um, like, I start the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> On my weakness. <laughs> Actually, I'm more braver turning the barbecue on than I am turning it off. Because I feel like you'll either get it on or you, you won't. But if you, you could really mess up leaving it on and like cause a big I, I guess, yeah. Um, what's your favorite smells? <laughs> That's the question. I have no idea. Um, my favorite smells would be like chocolate. Oh, yeah. My favorite perfume the worst, is the Burberry Brit, I think. <laughs> I think that's all it is. Oh, it's the rhythm for her. It's very nice. Um, it reminds me of my piano teachers. The um, aftershave I use, I think, might be one of my oh, favorites. Oh, yeah, like dirty garden scents. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's pretty great. Um, what is it? I don't know. You talk about it so much. You should really know. Should I go get it? No. No. We'll do another Find shaving it in this video, video. In the future. I'm probably not going to remember to go yeah, back and no. name it, but I'll try. If you remind me. <laughs> I won't. Um, but yeah, I think that. What's the furthest you've ever been from home? Disneyland, maybe? Disneyland in California? Yeah. I don't know if... Okay. The furthest or places I've been. This is like the entire catalog. <laughs> um, Disneyland, Las Vegas, and Toronto? I think like Toronto is it might be surprisingly far. I don't know, um, but yeah. But I bet Toronto, and I don't know, <laughs> in California are like equal distance. I was gonna say like they might be comparable. So yeah, that's my that's my feeling on it, and I'm really directionally challenged. Baking food smells is good, but I find mm. a lot of time in like cosmetics. If it's too bakey, I don't like it. I would agree with no florals and woodsy scents on guys. But you're more of a floral, I guess, with your florally dirty. Is that really florally? Kind of. I just want to say it's like woodsy now because it sounds like that's what <laughs> everyone wants. Um, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I, think, I guess it is kind of florally, so it works. It's not super florally, though. It's. I'm gonna go get it. I'll be okay. right back. <laughs> yeah, for me, I've been the farthest. What's the farthest away though? Either England, Louisiana, probably not. Obviously, Argentina. Is that farther? Argentina. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It might be pretty far. But anyway, I win that race. Oh yeah, absolutely. Although, it's definitely been like a, disease from just outside world. Toronto. We were talking. We yes. want to maybe go to like. This isn't got anything to do with Toronto, but like Montreal or something for like a little vacation. Yeah, just kind of the other side of the country, just because. Yeah. Um, and I use the Dr. Harrison Co. Arlington Aftershave Milk, a classic English fragrance for gentlemen. But it doesn't say what the fragrance is. It doesn't say is. at all. So I wear but a it's gentleman's floral. fragrance. It's like you've been out in the garden too long and you're really. Dirty floral. <laughs> like musky floral. But yeah. definitely a floral. Yeah, I guess like adding the, the word musky is kind of 
It's just because you're too no. worried about being floral? I don't know. No, <laughs> no but there is, it's not like a flowery floral, no, it's but not it's definitely floral, like floral. something earthy. Earthy. <laughs> it's masculine, okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, do you have any special talents? I can wiggle my ears. You can wiggle your ears? Oh my god, I cannot see. So. Uh, uh, maybe I did it a little. Um, I can touch my. Uh, <laughs> I can touch my nose with my tongue. Oh, I can't do it right now. Mm. Yep, yeah, yes, you can. That's my special talent. I can't. And, oh, I just tasted the mask. <laughs> it doesn't taste that bad. It doesn't. <laughs> I, I'm trying to think of what it smells like. Hi, Mercedes. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Mercedes. <laughs> anyway, Dizzy's from Montreal. Oh, We're going nice. to have to like, get some tips on like where to go, where to yeah. stay. We're going to we're gonna have to talk about that. <laughs> um, any other special talents that you might have? Um, I mean, like, what defines a talent? It's what you think is talented. <laughs> I mean, I draw. You can draw and art. paint. That's right. And you can um, play piano. I can play piano. You can play piano way better though. No <laughs> <sighs> matter practice. But I can't draw. Way anything. better. I'm really not very artistic. You are when it comes to makeup. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it time? It is time. All right. So. So this one's good because we don't have to wash it out. Wash it off afterwards. Yeah. Mercedes, you're coming right at the end of this. <laughs> um, we were doing the pomegranate aid face masks and the kiwi apple aid. Kiwi apple aid. From Medihill. By, by Medihill. Yeah, that's right. Um, they are 20 minute long masks. They both do different things. Um, Mine's pore yeah. cleansing. <laughs> and yours is firming. Uh, Firming and hydrating. We also have a lot of food here because we were planning to eat and do a mukbang. <laughs> mukbang. Because that's a thing oh, that Cory likes to watch now. Oh, we should do a video of playing the piano. Some other time. We'll have a concert. We'll really we just have practice. to like, make sure the music that we play is okay. But I guess your piano keyboard book is all like open source. Oh yeah, it's like just generic class. <laughs> Maybe we could do like an arty video. <laughs> You could like do a time lapse of me do doing some a painting. Donkey Kong drums. <laughs> Donkey Kong. Oh yeah. And show up Tickle Drum Master. Oh my god. Okay, where were you born? I was born in the city. What city? Edmonton. What if I don't want to share that fact online? Too yeah, bad. I was born in Edmonton. Um, yeah, Canada. I lived here my whole life. So yep. Guitar duets is a good idea Ooh. because I need more music for my channel. Are you guys getting sick of my theme tunes? Because Douglas actually made them. That and one and now. Yeah, not the ending music, but like the midstream music. He actually like composed and played it for me. But I feel like I need a couple other pieces to like fulfill the I different know. moods of. I know, that's how you feel, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you have to like really like nag him to like. Get the creativity out. I'm not do anything. <laughs> what are your hobbies? Well, I paint and draw and um I don't know. What hobby have you been doing a lot? Like recently? Like playing video games? <laughs> really? What game? No, uh Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Anyone else been playing Breath of the Wild? <laughs> I just picked it up like last week. Wow, what a talented couple. <laughs> Ooh, that's busy. Um, so damn it. Uh, so, yeah, I picked up last week because I, yeah. I like the Zelda games. Yeah, the horse doesn't run into trees. Yeah. Where's Bakersfield? Bakersfield. Are you American? Bakersfield? <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, we're all from Canada except for you, I think. Sims? Yeah. That's a talent to play. That um, what's that game? <laughs> City Skylines. Have you guys oh, checked City out Skylines. City Skylines? That's a good video game on your computer. <laughs> um, so we already kind of did. Do you have any pets? Because the what? next question is, do you have any pets? Well, yes, we do. We have a cat named Toby. California. Oh, a sorry. fish named Guppy. 
And a snail named Mr. Snail. And some house plants. <laughs> I was going to say, do you want to include all my plants? I have a all. fern named Fern. I have a basket of flowers known as Basket. Um, the Dracaena known as Dracaena. And then a couple of herbs. What is which the Ikea plant called? called? Plastic? <laughs> the Ikea one? Oh, wait. The... My one. one? Oh, the aloe? <laughs> it's called aloe. No, no, that one on the counter. Oh, the, those <laughs> ones. I don't include those because those yeah. are plastic. So. Do you have any siblings? Like, uh, yes. I have three older sisters. Three older sisters. So yep. you're the baby of the family? I am indeed. Which is why you're so maltempered. <laughs> yep. Totally. I also am the baby of my family, <laughs> but I only have one sister. That way you're less mildly tempered. That's right. <laughs> Um, what do you want to be when you grow up? A software developer. A software developer? Boom. I thought you wanted to Life be like... Life goals achieved. What did you say? A gardener or... Oh, when I was young? No, no, no. Like two years ago. <laughs> no, I didn't know you two years ago. Like eight, three months <laughs> ago, you're like, maybe I should become a gardener. <laughs> I don't remember this. He was like, I'm looking for a new job. I should become a greenhouse. Oh, yeah. That's like a summer job <laughs> thing. That's fun. I, I worked it at a greenhouse. It could be a career. I guess. You could program for them. I did work at a greenhouse for like a couple months as a summer job. And it's actually really nice because you take care of the plants, water them. You deal with customers because, you know, you're selling stuff. But they're usually not too bad. Um, yeah. Really active. And a lot of the time it's very, like, relaxing so I listened to audiobooks like all the time when I did it so yeah if you're looking for a sweet job greenhouse <laughs> um anything else you wanted to be when you grew up um I remember when I was a kid I was asked this question I was in like grade one and I was asked it and it's like I want to babysit pets I think was my answer so pet babysitter that's weird because I don't really see you as a dog loving or cat nope. loving person. Not much of an animal person nowadays. Okay. Which is kind of like, <laughs> I, I do like them, but not enough that I want to get them. Uh -huh. um, we're being asked a question online though. How long have we been together? We've been together for how many days? <laughs> We've been together for one year and six months? Yeah, about that. January of last year. Yeah. So, yeah. We're still a newbie couple. Apparently. It's, it's working out. Yeah, I'm liking it so far. Not sick of you yet. Not yet. Not yet. I mean, I'm pretty amazing, so no one's ever been sick of me. <laughs> but, you know, he's still got <laughs> some time. Oh, good. <laughs> um, I think when I wanted to grow up, it would just be something that pushes a lot of buttons. So, like, I love going to the grocery store and, you like... You push my buttons. Ugh. Like, the really clicky buttons. I, like, love oh, that stuff, so... Um, cool... Like, it's, there's still many options for you. I know. So, I mean, I push buttons every day. Yeah. Apparently, I wanted to be a waitress at Boston Pizza. I can't see myself. Like, <laughs> like I think that's probably just a ploy to eat the oatmeal cookies that you got at the end of the dinner. Because they used to give you, like, a wrapped cookie. Oh, yeah. I remember those. But I don't know. I wasn't really the waitress type of kid, was I? Apparently. <laughs> um, who was your first best friend? That you can remember. I want to say his name is Travis. 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 Yeah. Hope you don't mind me giving out. Oh yeah, don't give out the full name. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think that was wrong anyway, so don't worry. <laughs> um, we were in kindergarten. Oh wow. And it was like the first day of class, and one of us, I think it was him, asked if he wanted to be friends, and I said yes. Oh, and so nice. we were friends for several years, <laughs> like during all of elementary. Or yeah, we knew each other. So yeah. Thank you, Mercedes. She's been in her relationship for two years and a half next month. So, awesome. Nice. Congrats. Do you face mask with them? <laughs> um, what? My about first you? best friend. Okay, I don't really have that good of a memory, but I remember I did have a friend and her name was Melissa, but it's not my current best friend, Melissa. But her parents had a water bed and we'd go, she just lived down the block from me and we'd go and like have a sleepover and sleep on the water bed. She was pretty cool. With a waterbed, how couldn't she be? I want to say she was like grade two or three, and I don't remember anything before that. Mm, how tall are you? 
I want to say like five, six, but I don't know if that sounds right. I think last time I went to the doctors, she said I was five, four and a half, but I consider myself five, five, especially on like diet websites. <laughs> so I think I am five, six, because I'm slightly taller than Cora. So. <laughs> So Mercedes said she did face mask for the first time with her SO. Um, what mask did you guys do? Did he like it or she? <laughs> did he or she like it? That's awesome. And yes, water beds are awesome. Who has a water bed anymore my though? Parents like parents used to have one. They uh, were like such a thing that in like in the past, but now like you never hear about water beds. Are they like good for your back or like bad for your back? Or they're just no like idea. a hazard to your house. When I think of water beds, all I think is Edward Scissorhands. I think of about Schmidt. Hmm. Remember that movie? Yeah. Was there a water bed in there? The husband, the one that he was didn't think was right for his daughter, was a water bed oh, salesman. Oh, that's right. So yeah. A homemade honey mask with their boyfriend. Ooh, That's awesome. Yeah. Doug actually made me order some like sheet masks on Amazon that are like the do-it-yourself ones. So if you have any recipes, definitely like send me like comment down below once the video is like posted or something so that we can like find uh, <laughs> the recipes because Doug needs to do like a little cooking face mask Friday show. Yeah, apparently I need to make my own. <laughs> face masks aren't cheap, so. <laughs> Um, what was your funniest moment throughout school? I Do you have any? No idea, no. I'm playing Pog. Pog. I remember when my mom took <laughs> me. This isn't a funny moment. memory, oh. but this is like a memory. My mom took me to like the Sanya store to buy a bra, and I was like so excited. <laughs> I probably didn't need one, but. That's so cute. <laughs> I don't know any funny moments. No, I remember no. um, when I was in Louisiana. I think I called my friend stupid or something, and I had to, like, write an apology note, and stupid was, like, a swear word that you, like, did not say, and I got in a lot of trouble. You are so mean. Her name is Danielle. Bad kid. <laughs> well, that would have been, that was grade two, so, yeah, I remember Danielle, too. And in the, the U.S., we'd play that ball that they played in Napoleon Dynamite, which is something you never see here in Canada. Yeah, what are those called? Tetherball or something? Yeah, tetherball. <laughs> um, yeah. A turmeric mask. Ooh, that one sounds <laughs> spicy. <laughs> We're going to have to... Sure. Doug's going to have to do some research. I'll leave yeah. the ball in his court and uh, they better be good. Okay. You kind of already did the egg mask one. Yeah, so that was great. there's a lot more out there. <laughs> How many countries have you visited? Two. <laughs> or well, one if you don't include the one I live in. <laughs> no, that counts. Okay. So yeah, um, here, U.S., Argentina, England. What was the last one? I don't remember. Yeah, four. It sounds four. Right. Um, I want to travel more though, for sure. Me too. So yeah, <laughs> someday. Um. Oh, I have to pull this one out. What is your, no, what was your favorite and worst subject in high school? Um, my favorite subject was probably, um, I don't know, it depends how you want to go by it. I liked art a lot. I also liked, um, math. So, I know, two kind of opposites. Very um, well-rounded. Yeah, but at the same time, I didn't like English. Or like language arts. Oh really? See, I was the opposite. Yeah. I really loved English and I remember in one of my classes I got like a hundred percent on my essay and I was like, that's it, like I'm <laughs> I've made it in life. I like don't understand anymore. I also really loved bio because like our teachers were really awesome. Hmm. But I was the worst at biology and math. Yeah. And I didn't really like them. Um I'm it's it's weird because I do this sort of thing like I like some things that are similar but not. I liked my language classes. I took Japanese and German. I didn't like taking French because just then I was forced uh, to do French. I think but... it was just that we were forced to do French because I remember yeah. really like getting burnt out on French. Mm -hmm. But looking back that's on it, I wish like I was better at French. And I should me just, too. Like, and more. that's the same thing with English. Like <laughs> I wish I kind of knew more because I'd like to do more like, English. Like, language arts kind of thing. <laughs> uh, Read more. <laughs> uh, well, I also need to write as well, and that's. 
where it's a pain. Mercedes says she's also loved art class. Yeah. I actually failed my art class because really? my high school teacher hated me. <laughs> oh, so you just didn't do your work? Uh, That's what that means. I don't know. I feel like I did a lot, but uh, he didn't think Hello Kitty was art. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sounds like like sorry at home for anyone who likes Hello Kitty. <laughs> um, what is your favorite drink? Whoops. What is your favorite drink? Just all form of drink. I like coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Animal. Animal coffee. No. What is your favorite animal? Um. Well, are you gonna answer the question? It's a three parter. Oh, favorite animal. Uh, turtle. Turtle. <laughs> and your favorite perfume? Um, the Arlington <laughs> aftershave milk. That is not perfume. It works well enough. It's it, fairly small. It does not count. What um, about you? So my favorite drink like, would be really greasy because of the face mask. Water. Mine's all like soaked in. Did you not like pat it in? I guess I really didn't. You didn't. Sorry, okay. answer the question. So I think my favorite drink's iced tea. I think my favorite animal is Toby. Is yeah, just Toby singularly. Although if I got another cat, I would love it too. But is that my very ultimate favorite animal? I don't know. It's too hard. It's really boring too. And my favorite perfume we already talked about a ray red for her because it reminds me of like my old piano teacher. <laughs> no, Hello Kitty is not art. Judy, stop. <laughs> Rocking the boat. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, Hello Kitty's nice. Don't get me wrong. It's a strong argument. I have a good way. question for you. Is it about Hello Kitty? No. Good. What well, would you be. name your children? Definitely not Hello Kitty. <laughs> like, hello. Um, <laughs> hello, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, because I am pretty... a male name and a lady name. I am pretty terrible at naming things, as we know with... Fern and Aloe and Mr. Justina Snail. and Mr. Snail and Guppy. Guppy. <laughs> so I. Okay, but if a tell. baby was like in front of you and you had to name it, what would you call it? Hey, baby. No, I need a name. Baby. I totally name it baby for a little while. I don't know. Just pick two names. Um. God. I mean, I kind of. Truth comes out. I don't know. I've always kind of liked the name Dom or like Dominic. Dom. But I have a friend named Dom, so there's no actual reason Dom why I'm cool. <laughs> oh yeah, Dominic Cool. Yeah, there's totally a reason. I mean, he's not like... watching. Yeah, Where is hell, he? <laughs> and um, girl. Girl. Yeah. Dominique. Yeah, Dominique. Yeah, done. <laughs> um, yeah, but I, don't know. I, I always love the name Nina. Nina. Oscar's a really good name too. Lily's a nice name. I have a friend who's got a baby named Lily. What did I say? Nina. And for Nina's a boy, good. I really like Gabrielle. For a boy? And Toby. Yeah. Gabrielle. Or like Gabriel? Gabriel. But I say it with a player. Gabriel. <laughs> Gabriel. Okay. <laughs> um, what sports do you play or have you played? Um, It's going to be have. I don't play any right now. I am <laughs> active. I like to be like yeah. a active. athletic. <laughs> but... um. Yoga. Yoga counts. It's not really a sport. It's, it's totally an, it's a sport. an activity, but it's like running out. Well, like it's, you can competitively do like running. You can but, competitively do yoga. And you can, but I don't. It's kind of the thing. I don't. So, um, uh, but I did play soccer. I did play softball. I apparently I played hockey at one point. Ooh. I know me on the ice. Can you imagine? <laughs> I played um, badminton. Yeah. Ooh. I was on the badminton team in junior high. And then I didn't nice. do any sports in high school. I did do softball when I was younger. Yeah, was. softball is fun. So Mercedes does softball too. Anna likes the name Ella. But um, now when I think of Ella, I'm like, Ella, 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 eh? Which we were just talking about. We were just talking about. <laughs> it's raining here. Yeah, the umbrella. Um, <laughs> Riley is also an interesting name. Riley. Lily. Um, yeah, oh yeah, Oscar. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba. what are some of your favorite YouTubers? Which we always talk about, and you yeah. cannot say PBS. ID Damn channel. it, that's who I always say. Um, I don't know. Um, some interesting ones that have been coming up. 
I want to say her name is Lindsay Ellis, but she goes by like Shay Lindsay, if that's still okay. her old channel name. What's her channel about? Uh, movies, and she's been doing a lot of interesting like video. She originally started like back in the day as the Nostalgia Chick. If anyone knows of the, um, oh my god, the Nostalgia Critic. Um, if anyone knows him, he's been around for a while. But she's gone from just reviewing movies to doing, like, almost, like, movie theory. Okay. Um, which is an interesting thing. Also, like, Red Letter Media. Red Letter Media is great. And they do a fair bit of that, too. I like... don't agree with the Galaxy of the Guardian review, though. Guardians of the Galaxy? Guardians two. of the Galaxy, too. Yeah, no, we didn't like it as much as the first one. But they loved it, so, you know. They're entitled to their opinion. But, yeah, I usually, like... <laughs> Sell it. I, I don't necessarily, like... I don't know, just straight up reviews. I usually like where they bring like the theory of filmmaking into it sometimes. Okay. okay. So yeah. Um, so those are kind of my jam lately, or mm. are always a solid choice. Yeah. I'll talk about some music ones. What is the one that I like that's... Oh, Postmodern Jukebox. That one's so oh, yeah. popular. And from Postmodern Jukebox, <laughs> if you say. check out Puddle's Pity Party, he's like a clown that sings. He's really weird. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it, but I subscribed. He's cool. It's like the <laughs> like old classical fan, the like girl yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's weird, but it's, it's cool. Mercedes so. says Roman Howard, which I've never watched. Roman Howard? Yeah, I've never watched Roman Howard I either. Love. I've heard he's good, so yeah. Here's a good question. How many girlfriends slash boyfriends have you had? Um, <laughs> sorry? I'm going to have to do some counting. <laughs> I have... Excluding you. Oh, we're not counting each other? No, I guess not. I think um, we count. Fine. I've had three. Three girlfriends. I think you're number five. Okay. Cool. If I'm if I forgot anybody, I'm sorry. If I added any extra people, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um What is your favorite memory from childhood? I don't know. Um, the one that just comes to mind first is going on vacation with my family to Vancouver to like see my relatives. Mm -hmm. Your um, grandparents? Yeah, my grandparents. Um, it was always like a long car ride, and then we'd stay there for like a week or two, and then drive home. Cool. So yeah, it was always interesting. Oh yeah, Philip DeFranco. I actually really like Philip DeFranco. So yeah. Been watching him for years. <laughs> He's so old. Uh, We're so old. Uh, um, I think one of my favorite, or at least one that sticks out, is we would go camping with my grandma and grandpa. Just like <laughs> we were in a small town, and there's like a campground in town. But we had these like popple bags. Remember popple? No. Okay, people <laughs> that are older than Doug. <laughs> uh, Do you guys remember popples? And we would just like pack these little duffel popple bags, and then we had popples. And then, I don't know, I just remember hanging out in the camper and, like, she had Peter Rabbit books and stuff. And it was just very nostalgic. <laughs> it's very, like, cliche. <clears throat> also, I really remember the pool that we had. Bye, Mercedes! <laughs> Bye. Um, Which, speaking of, are we going to give our thoughts on the mask? What did you think about the mask? Oh, yeah, we should tell you that. And Mercedes <laughs> laughs so we start eating. <laughs> it, wasn't, it was Dizzy that didn't like Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dizzy. <laughs> I've been slowly munching on it but, and trying to be discreet. <laughs> okay, so what was the question? What do we think about the mask? Yeah, what do you think about the mask? It was good. Okay. It wasn't as, like, fruity as I expected? No, definitely not fruity at all. Very subtle. And um, if I had two in the fridge, I would definitely pull out, like, a bale sna snail bee mask pack. Or even just like the black mask ones over this one, just because I don't know. I just like the aesthetic of those ones better, and this one just wasn't that like super exciting. No, it was good and solid, and I love Medikill, but it was a really solid mask, but it wasn't super mind blowing. Um, I do feel a little sticky. A I know I was making bit. fun of you before. But... Yeah, I, I kind of I look shiny on the camera, um, so I would just wash it off really. Um, yeah, apparently not gross either. <laughs> well, just wait. Just yeah, wait. <laughs> we made it this far, so we're um, <laughs> <laughs> um, But, yeah, no, I, out of three, or, 
Out of three, I'd give it a two. <laughs> no, um, Safe. I'd give it a three out of five, really. It's a solid mask. No complaints. I would give it a two and a half. Like, it passed. Yeah. If I had it again, oh, I would do it again. Mask. Yeah. But probably. I wouldn't repurchase. Probably not. Um, when you opposed to trying, like, other variations. I would try the Coco one, I guess. Yeah. But... And there is actually a bubble tea mask out there that has, like, a little bubble tea cup it's adorable looking and we'll have to see if we can't check that one down um how would you describe your fashion sense um doug is very pretentious when it comes to fashion you guys well <laughs> here so, i am in my robe <laughs> yeah here i am in my lululemon <laughs> oh, <God>. t-shirt <laughs> what were you saying about yoga uh, competitive fashion yoga <laughs> i mean i I don't participate in that. I'm too oh. good for it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I would call, like, if I was describing your fashion, it mm. would be, like, nerdy business. Yeah, that's accurate. What um, would you describe mine as? Um, pretty casual, like, it's nice. <laughs> Very <simple. laughs> I would yeah. call mine, like, unorganized. Feels cool, but doesn't necessarily look cool. I guess I, that would be, like, confident. <laughs> and I have, like, influence from, like, Betty Johnson, where you, like, just do shit that doesn't necessarily look good, but you're, like, I'm making a statement. I <laughs> yeah. don't know what it is, I, but I, we're going I totally <laughs> see it, and most of the time it works. Sometimes it's a lot, but, yeah. Um, what phone do you have? Samsung S. Five. I have the S7. Cool. And then the final question is, tell us one of your bad habits. I... I don't know. I'm lazy sometimes. <laughs> You're lazy. But, um, <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> What did I do, Judy? Why cute? I don't know. What, what, what do you mean, Judy? Um, so your bad habit is that you're lazy? Um, no. Um, sometimes, like, I don't know, I'll take things, like, personally if something goes wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just like, <sighs> even though it's obviously not, like, yeah. Yeah, but, not yeah. personal. Yeah. I have a really bad habit where I, like, look at my hair and I mm. find split ends, and then when I find one, I, like, peel it. It's so satisfying and so bad for your hair. And I blame my mom for <laughs> including me into that, like, phenomenon. But it's just, like, really amazing how the hair split. And then you can see all, the, like, the little Velcro things. If I had a magnify, if I had a, um, yeah. Magnifying glass. Magnifying or, like, glass, uh, not the microscope. Microscope, okay. And I could put it onto a camera and show you guys. Like, I would just do, like, an hour of that because I'm a little bit, I don't think I'm very insane. I think I'm pretty normal. But when it Stay comes to that, to that, I definitely so. have like a problem <laughs> <laughs> that's my bad habit <laughs> so yeah that actually like pretty much made it to the full hour so oops yeah so far so we did really good we chatted the whole time we barely touched our food we barely touched our food but <laughs> thank you guys for giving us <laughs> feedback on that <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually pretty full. The bubble tea is pretty filling, yeah. so saved us some diet calories. <laughs> and of course, we really appreciate you guys being here and sharing this time with us and interacting with us. We really love it. If there's anything that we should look up later, like any recommendations or any names that you want to drop, make sure you go back and leave a comment down below because the live chat things don't like save. So just leave a comment once the video is rendered and then we can go back and like archive it because I have a really bad memory and I forget everything. True. And if you're watching in the future and you have any comments or anything you want to say, obviously leave us a comment down below. I'll definitely get back to you. And what's it like in the future? What is it like in the future? Are so. face masks still a thing? Hopefully, or else is this an archive of like this is what previous... this is what the future looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should find a future mask. Sure. Maybe that'd be like the rubber mask. Maybe we're already made. doing a. Future Have you guys mask seen the, the Doctor Jart rubber masks? Everybody hates them. You no. look like a sex doll. Oh. Uh, but anyway, since we're signing off, you got to be the one that signs us off because it's your show. My favorite part. Um, <laughs> so, thank you everyone for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. 
follow us on social media. Oh. Donate to our Patreon. Um, Corey will be back again for another video on Monday. And we'll see you guys next week for another Face Mask Friday. Wait, there's one last comment. Anna here says, have we tried the Life Charcoal Peel-Off Mask? We have tried some Life Peel-Off Masks, but yeah. I'm pretty sure it was an aloe one or something. Oh. So we'll definitely have to keep our eyes peeled for that one. So we'll check it out. Life sometime. has so many selections. <laughs> Uh, that was like very philosophical. Life brand has a lot of masks. <laughs> so we've done a couple in the past, so you could go back and check them out, but we'll we'll, we'll keep our eyes peeled. Oh, you yeah, know, yeah. Because it's a peel off mask. Because it's a peel off mask. Peel. Bye. That's what I said about you and jokes. You're always explaining <laughs> the joke. Bye, everyone. Just trust the joke will work. <laughs>